Hello! How is everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Uh, I was down in the aquatic room today uh, setting up this aquarium. Uh, we're going to be using it for future projects and videos and, and, and social media content, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Um, and as I was setting it up, I remembered a previous comment uh, from another video. Uh, someone was wondering if there was a correct positioning to the intake and output uh, assemblies for a canister filter on an aquarium. So I thought I'd take the opportunity today, really quick video, just to sort of address some of the some of the concerns, some of the things you should be thinking about when you're actually setting up uh, your canister filter with regards to where you're positioning the intake and the output. Uh, so the, the short answer is really that the intakes and the outputs can be positioned wherever you want as long as there is a, a proper, thorough, adequate flow throughout the entire aquarium, the water leaves the output, does a full lap of the aquarium and comes back into the intake. If you've got that, no matter how you've set things up, that's really all you need. Um, there's three reasons, three main reasons why it's important that you have that. Um, first of all, uh, for plants, you, you want to make sure that you've got all of the nutrients and in particular CO2 that's really reaching all of the plants. Um, if you've got plants in a spot where water's not being moved to, well they're not going to be getting the nutrients they need to survive. Um, second of all, you want to make sure that the heated water and that the, the oxygenated water is actually, again, moving through the aquarium as a whole. You don't want any cold spots uh, where there's not being, where heated water isn't reaching. Um, and lastly, you don't want uh, any, any dead spots, dead zones, um, where there's no current, where things can kind of accumulate uh, de debris and detritus and waste. Uh, if you've got that, if there's a region where your filter is not really moving water through, uh, you can start having decomposition of those organic materials and then you'll have algae issues and you can start having issues with your water quality. So the most important is really just that there is adequate circulation throughout the entire aquarium. Now it's important to remember that there's not only horizontal circulation in an aquarium, but there's also vertical circulation to be considered. Um, normally that's pretty easy to deal with though, you can just have your intake uh, near the bottom of the aquarium and then the output at the top. And so not only is the water going to be moved around uh, horizontally, but you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, it'll come out at the top and go in at the bottom. So you've got that vertical mixing that's going on as well. You do also want to uh, factor in heating, as I mentioned previously. Um, usually if you position your heater near the intake or the output, you'll take care of that. Uh, if it's near the output, obviously you've got heated water that's then in the path of the filter output. Uh, if it's near the intake, which is what I prefer doing, then you've actually got heated water being pulled into the filter and then dispersed throughout the aquarium. I think that allows for the most uh, consistent and even heating uh, throughout the aquarium. Uh, so with all that said, there's normally two main um, options, two main ways of setting up uh, the, the, the filter intake and output. Um, you can either do it as I've done here where they're both on the same side, or you can do them where they're on opposite sides. On the same side, like this, it's just important that the output is directed away from the intake. Uh, that way that the water will move and, and do a full lap of the aquarium essentially before coming back. If they're on opposite ends, well that, that makes sense, it just comes out on one end and goes in at the other. In general, I prefer to have the intake and the output on the same side. Uh, I think it's a little bit neater, I think it's easier to hide you know, the, the intakes and the outputs and, and the hosing behind the aquarium. You can kind of make it look as if there's not really a, a, a filter on the aquarium, which is kind of a nice look. Uh, it is also a little bit better in terms of providing a direct path of the hosing to the filter. Uh, if the assemblies are on opposite sides, you've got some, some horizontal action. It's not terrible, but I like having it sort of straight up and down as much as possible. Uh, and that's basically it, just a quick tip today. If you guys have any questions, if there's any other uh, you know, concerns that you want addressed in a video, uh, please leave uh, those comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please um, you know, consider giving us a like, subscribe, and always be sure to hit that bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. Otherwise, guys, that's about it. I hope everyone is staying safe. Uh, all of your friends and families are, are safe and healthy. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.